Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dazzling Dave and this is a Wolves update. And in this update we're going to be talking about retro kits, the departure of Wolves Sporting Director Kevin Thelwell, the launch of the Always Wolves Squadcast and of course Wolves have been warm weather training away in Marbella during the Premier League winter break. And that's all coming up after this. So first off, the Wolves retro kit collection that they've launched basically to celebrate Wolves rich history. Shirts now available either in the club shop or online ranging from 1960 to 1988. I took the opportunity to have a wander down the club shop to have a look at what's available and as you can see I've made a couple of purchases myself. There's quite a little range in there in the shop but they did have a variety of sizes. I found that the uh, the large was out in the shop for the 1974 tracky top, but they did have the large for the 1981. And this particular shirt that I've got underneath here as well. And then in the 1974 shirt, which is absolutely lovely. Actually, if you look on, I think in my Torino vlog, I interviewed a young man that was wearing uh, one of these. For, I don't know where he got it from, and I really liked the top. So I was absolutely, when Wolves released this top, uh, this shirt, I just had to go and get it. This one is a medium, and it fits me quite nicely, and I absolutely love it um, as i say you can get down in the club shop or you can get online at the wolves shop as well and uh, yeah so the main news apart from obviously all the stuff that's happened with the transfer window recently which we've covered is the departure of kevin thelwell uh wolves sporting director this came as a bit of a bombshell out of the blue apparently jeff she is known for a couple of months so for wolves to keep it quiet is great especially during the transfer window he has departed to become head of sport at new york red bulls so i mean it's you know kevin thelwell's been there for um 11 years and sometimes during that time he kind of has got a little bit of the blame for wolves um it down into League One. I actually got to meet the guy just the one time actually and that was at the uh, the Molyneux sleep out. Again if you've not seen that vlog watch it where I actually got a chance to talk to Kevin. Um, really down to earth guy. He actually was the one director that actually come and stayed overnight, slept all night. He, he came with his daughter as well and I talked to him the next morning obviously we were all tired. Really nice chap, um, very down to earth. So, you know, there's uh, probably, in liking a lot of jobs, it's easy to get stick. Um, but he did do a lot of good behind the scenes. He's very, very highly highly thought of by Foson. If you look at the way that, um, and the statement that Jeff Shee put about Kevin Thelwell, and it's a little bit more warm than when Laurie Dalrymple uh, left, left. Obviously, both Kevin and Laurie took up the banner after uh, Jess Moxie left. But Kevin was, you know, recently promoted up to the board as well. So it's a big gap. That Wolves have lost um, because obviously there's a lot of planning that's got to go on in terms because he was pretty much involved with pretty much everything up and everything down he oversaw pretty much all of the football side and he reported upwards to the board and to uh, to Jeff Shee so it's going to be really quite interesting to see what happens over the next few months there obviously looks like there's going to be a restructure at Wolves and the needs one because you know Jeff Shee is doing pretty much everything the next thing you'll be you know, backup striker to Raul Jimenez if he gets injured. So Wolves are obviously going to be looking for the right person to come in and um, work with Jeff and Nuno and the team. And we hopefully we'll see something that will happen on that in the next few months before we get to the summer transfer window. I do believe that the summer transfer window is going to be an absolute massive one for Wolves. So um, we'll have to wait and see what happens on that one. But we do wish um, Kevin all the best. As I say, I did get to meet him, and when I got to meet him, he was a very down-to-earth guy. So, you know, he's moved to New York. I've been to New York twice, um, and probably if I got the chance to work in a high-profile position in New York uh, for a little while, I'd probably take the opportunity myself to think about doing that too, because it is a fantastic city and a great opportunity. Uh, and obviously, uh, you know, we thank Kevin for all the work that he has done for Wolves over the, uh, the 11 years that he has been with us. So before we get on to um, Wolves warm weather training in Marbella, just want to say um, 
I know a lot of you have kind of been asking about doing a podcast for a very, very long time and it took a lot of planning. Very, very happy and proud to be able to have launched the first Always Wolves Squadcast with a launch episode with Manny Singh, Wolves Girl and of course esteemed journalist, Wolves fan, um, Tim Nash who joined us for the first episode as our special guest as well. So I would appreciate it if you could go and check that out. We'll put the link to the podcast in the, in the description box below for you to go on there. Hopefully you'll subscribe to the podcast and hopefully you'll enjoy it and give us a, some nice ratings and comments as well. Really hope you've enjoyed it and hopefully there'll be plenty more to come in regards to that as well. But yeah, uh, if you've had a chance to listen to it, let us know in the comments below. And as I say, please go over there and check it out and also please subscribe to it on whatever podcast, Apple Podcasts, whether it's Spotify or however you listen to your podcasts. So yeah, so obviously no football because of the Premier League um, winter break. There is football, there is Premier League matches, they split it into quite a clever way of doing it actually. Um, and basically Wolves have taken this opportunity to go over to their favourite warm weather training over in Marbella. They spent quite a few days there. The players do enjoy it. It's a real opportunity for some team bonding for the new guys to settle in. Um, do a lot of working on routines, set pieces, formations, all of that sort of stuff. And let's face it, with the amount of games that Wolves have had, it's been relentless, relentless, relentless over a long, long period of time. It is probably good that in this last sort of three weeks, they've kind of had a little bit of a gap with not many games, really. Uh, and I say the next game is Valentine's Night against Leicester under the lights at Molyneux. And it is a chance, because it's going to be a busy run to the end of the season, to recharge, as I say, get the uh, the new guys in um, that we've brought in, the main one being Daniel Podence, and of course there's Campana as well that's um, in the under-23s and a few others that are going to be in and around that, to get some training in and uh, get the squad together. Have some downtime now with their families. Um, obviously they've come back from Marbella, so they will get some rest time and some time with their loved ones. Probably will go and see family and all that sort of jazz, and then back to training and ready for the Leicester game. And then after that, we've got the Europa League you know, the Premier League positions to play for, the Europa League to push forward to. Again, if you've not listened, if you're talking about the podcast as well, we do on there make our predictions about where we're going to go in the Europa League and also where we're going to finish in the um, in the Premier League. And I'm going to ask you the same question. Where do you think Wolves will finish in the Europa League and where will we finish at the end of the season in the Premier League this season. So yeah, so that's the main ones that we've got to talk about in regards to that. Loving the retro tops, absolutely fantastic from Wolves, you know, and the best, all the best to Kevin Thelwell. And obviously we're very look, much looking forward to uh, football commencing at the end uh, next weekend. And again, if you've had the opportunity, please, please, please take a look at the, um, and have a listen to the Wolves Squadcast. Link in the description box below. So until the next one, I'm Dazzling Dave, always Wolves.